determine the net torque on the 2.8 meter long uniform beam shown in the figure about the center of mass C. Uh, so uh, there are three forces and it's always a good idea to make the component. So the first force will have the component of 56 sine of 32 over on the horizontal side and 52 cosine of 52 cosine of 32 over in the vertical side. Likewise, this will have 52, uh, 52 cosine of 58 over in the vertical and 52 sine of 58 over here and this is the center of mass c of course we don't need to make components over here why is that because it won't have any torque so torque one since uh, the formula for the torque is r cross f so that's a cross product between the r vector and the f vector and clearly uh, the components which are aligned with the r vector for example these two uh, this has R vector which is pointing along the line, right? Uh, sorry, this is R vector pointing along the line. So they are in the same direction. So sine 0 is 0, right? Uh, that's why these two components will not have any torque. And likewise, this is acting on the center of mass. So it's R is 0. So that's why this green one, all these three green one will not have any torque. The only torque is provided by these two components which are actually at 90 degree and uh, which are anti parallel which is providing an opposite direction so uh, let's try to find out the torque which is provided by this point so let's call it tau 1 so that will be 52 sine of 58 times the distance between them and this is 2.8 meter long so midpoint is c which is 1.4 as in 2.8 over 2 if it makes more sense if i write like this so let me just uh, grab my calculator that's uh, 52 we have to take counterclockwise direction as positive so that's what we are doing this is trying to rotate it in counterclockwise sense so uh, 52 times 1.4 times sine of 58 is coming as 61.74 newton meter and what about the tau 2 tau 2 will be 52 sine of 32 degrees times uh, 2.8 over 2 so this will come out as over sine of 58 times sine of 32 just coming as 38.58 newton meter so what is the net torque uh, and definitely this tau 2 will be negative because that's acting in clockwise sense so that will be negative so the net torque uh, net torque is going to be 61.74 minus tau 1 plus tau 2 basically so the ma the net torque is going to be tau 1 plus tau 2 and basically that's a subtraction so that's 29.16 newton meter thank you